So, um, hi, my name is Brittany, and, um, <laughs> clothing, clothing malfunction. Um, this is, I do believe, this is Vlog 19, and, uh, I am, uh, putting them out today. It's, uh, that day where I have the time to do so, so, um, I don't know, I do have my tea, tea. <laughs> Tea and me. Uh, the Saturday specials are, I call them tea and me, but uh, they can be casual. I, this is casual, what I'm wearing. Obviously, uh, my face is on not because of doing these videos, but I've been out all day running errands <laughs> and doing stuff. So uh, don't hide. I don't hide. You should not hide. Do not hide um, if you are. Uh, and this is a segue into our subject on dealing with attention, that you need to plan for it. Do not hide. Um, because I can speak in metaphors, I I'm aware of this. For those of you who are going to write me and tell me that, thank you for what I know. and. There is a certain value in it if you step back in doing so and, and think about the metaphor. Uh, okay, this is weird. Just hold on. You, you'll get it. So let me get it out and you'll grasp the metaphor. When you get a new dog, that dog has to be socialized or you have a problem dog. Yeah. Uh, you take him to the park, take him here, take him there, introduce him to people, get him to interact with other, or her, which in our case it's her, get her to react with other people, with other dogs, so that they're properly socialized. Well, you may believe that you are okay and that everything's hunky-dory, and but when you start your transition, and you are presenting as the other sex, you are redefined. And as I said in a very recent, obviously previous video, your planet, your existence, your reality, your life, <laughs> and to be dramatic, all of it, okay, has been terraformed, rearranged, um, depending on who and who and all that about you, you may or may not grasp that, understand it, or whatever, but I assure you that you're in an alternate reality now. Now, this is not crap, this is not sci-fi horse shit that you know, from the sci-fi channel. Th this is real stuff. What makes it real? And as I said before, I'll say it again briefly, is that you're going to need to re-socialize yourself as a woman, not as a guy. Even if you're, a tr uh, say, a gay male that is now transitioning, you know, hormones, a year, two years, five minutes, uh, whatever, okay? your reality is going to shift. And um, the way you interact with everyone from the person in the grocery store to some cop that stops you to uh, um, an employer to anyone, okay, it's, it's all going to change. Women look at other women differently than a woman looking at what they think is a guy. Even if you've been on hormones a year, if you're still living as a guy, you're treated like as a guy. They don't acknowledge, care, or anything else about the hormones you may be on. Get, get that. The third bathroom thing that I talk about, there is no third bathroom. You're either a man or you're a woman in the minds of everyone you're going to meet on the planet. My voice sucks. <laughs> I hate my voice. I'm on the phone, they think I'm a guy. Uh, you know. 
I'm not 110 pounds. I'm not a size double zero. I'll never be that, you know, and uh, you know, it is what it is. And it's your alternate reality. It's your world terraformed. And it, it is as such. And this is your new planet. And you will live in it um, because your survival depends on it. Your survival will depend on it. You are going to get attention as a woman you did not get as a guy. Okay, here is the subject. I'm going to say it one more time. You are going to get attention as a woman you did not get as a guy. Now, you may you may think, well, duh, you know, uh, yeah, and uh, please tell me, wake me up when you tell me something I don't know. But guys run through their lives, go through their lives, whatever, you know, in sort of proverbial stealth mode. If the guy's really good looking, he's gonna get noticed. If he's a phenomenal dresser, he's he'll get noticed or I don't know, he's got a neon sign on his head, he'll get noticed. I mean whatever, you know. But by and large guys don't get the attention. It's women. I mean that's just the way human society is, okay? So you are going to have it goes up and down, but you'll have a spotlight on you to some degree always. And you should plan for that. I'm just looking at um, my laptop with subject stuff on it, on these videos. Uh, it's important, so I try to plan to some degree what I want to say. Uh, if, if you get that attention, if you're getting, there, there's different kinds of attention. You're, I'll give you a hypothetical. Like I used to live in Manhattan. I would typically uh, take the N and the R out of Brooklyn, come in, um, get off at Grand Central Station, and then uh, walk a, a, a one block over to the west and, and a couple blocks up to Bank of America where I used to work and you know I would see guys who would look at me up and down and I was younger then obviously but I'm more polished now go figure I don't know your presentation is paramount there is paramount means it's at the top of your priority list uh, if, for, for, if you believe that, you know, you don't really want the attention and I just want to transition and I don't want attention, uh, you know, maybe you should rethink it because by default, just as sure as night falls day, when you transition, you're going to get that attention. You better have the right frame of mind or it's not going to be a good thing. Uh, the, some of this is repeated from previous video, so for those of you who have heard it, just sit tight. Uh, I had an appointment at the salon on my way in. I, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting some degree. I mean, the guy, the guy isn't following me or anything, but he's like staring at me. You, you're just coming into their view. I came into this guy's view. I stepped foot out of my car, and I have wicked long legs, and they're thin, and they're this and that and they look good you know and I'm wearing heels and they look better and you know they they're having a boring day up to that point and you don't realize but you're adding some excitement to them and to that guy's life and this is not being obnoxious or self-centered or oh look at me I'm the coolest thing since sliced bread this is just simply saying you will affect people even though you don't mean to um, I don't like to talk because I hate my voice. The only time I talk is on these videos. I, I'm very quiet, extremely quiet. I, it's, you know, people think I'm a bitch when I'm in public. Or, or they're standoffish because I won't talk. I hate my voice that much. I can't stand the sound of my own voice. But I force myself to do these videos because I figure the message is more important than my voice, you know? I, it's very altruistic. 
I got a lot out of other girls' videos, and I swore at some point I was going to do this. And it was a huge decision for me. I was glad I made it. It has had a positive impact on me since. Um, I am full time, less some periods of where it creates an issue. It's whether it's work related or, or family, where they're just, I don't know, they're kind of having a short circuit, a mental short circuit, and they're not dealing with it well. I was at my mom's uh, for Mother's Day. Um, and I was, as a woman, you know, heels, makeup, full nine yards. I, I was not all dressed up. My mom is very casual. I came casual. I came in shorts and a tank and, you know, I don't wear foundation or any of that. I just do eye makeup and I do my lipstick. I don't, I'm lucky enough I don't need foundation, thank God. I'm serious. Uh, Excuse me. My stepfather, who on every occasion I have a chance to say as such, says to me, uh, you look amazing. Uh, you know, he's making positive comments and your makeup looks great. You know, um, says something about my toenail polish, another compliment said to me, which was most interesting, he said, you look better than you did, much more polished, and you look, you look much more polished, and you look way better than you did 15 years ago. As I said, I used to be full-time. I was full-time for more than three years, so name change and everything, and reverted back because of a variety of issues, including, a, I would say at the top of it was a voice and I wasn't dealing with it well. I had a huge mental short circuit. If any at a point in time I should have gotten psychological counseling, it should have been then. But I was in complete denial about everything and I was just very unhappy and very frustrated, like to nobody's business, just to no end. Uh, and back then, you know, the discrimination was corner to corner, door to door, rampant beyond beyond imagination. Resume after resume after resume after resume after resume, nobody hired me, you know. And, I don't know, I didn't deal with it well. Um, but I always used to deal with the attention well. Pretty well. Better now, better still now. With age comes maturity potentially, but you have to, you have to, you have to work on it. And you're going to have to work on dealing with attention from guys. Guys are going to say stuff to you if you are flawless, I mean like flawless, you are, you, no one can pick you out of a crowd as a guy. If you are one of those, I weigh 110 pounds, I'm a size zero, I wear a seven and a half B woman shoe, my hands are, are, are the size of teaspoons. Um, you know, I have great cheekbones. Uh, uh, you know, I have a, a beautiful mellifluous, which is sweet sounding, lovely voice, uh, on and on and on and on. Well, this is not for you. You can shut this video off. But for the rest of us, 98% or whatever, it has relevance and um, you may have a bit of a neon sign on your head. Oh, I do. Uh, I have a love for heels, anything from two to almost six inches. I don't care. I don't care. You know, like that woman out there who, uh, this is an odd metaphor, but she's, let's say she's a 32 H cup. She's got boobs that are, you know, pushing the size of almost as large as small cantaloupe, like cantaloupes. They're huge. Um, she has two choices. She can hide under sweatshirts and all that crap or she can just celebrate her body and just go about her life and make the most out of what she has and I do the same thing I'm big I'm a bit broad-shouldered you know 
um, I don't care. I'm a 40, you know, around, under the boobs. It is what it is. Why would I tell you all this? Because you need to acknowledge the fact that you are not, oh, you're not a female. <laughs> you are not 110 pounds. You are not a size zero. You are not a seven and a half B shoe. You are different. You are, in your head, a woman, but let's face it, your body is uh, sending out another message. Okay, now, with that in mind, I go back to the subject of the video, which is dealing with attention plana. Now, part of that planning and part of dealing with that attention is you may get called out, you may not. They may just look at you and go, wow, she's awfully tall. I used to have guys say to me, you're awfully tall. And my, at that time, my hair was better than 30 inches from the crown. This is the crown. All the way down my back, within that much, four inches of my of where my belt would be on my pants. You do the math. That's uh, 30 plus inches. Takes better than five years with haircuts and all that crap. It's more like six years. I cut all that off when I transitioned back. Cut it all off in 15 minutes. Erase six years like that because I, I snapped. That's food for another video. And um, I actually have, I'm looking at uh, notes. That video is coming. It's going to be called What to Do If You Panic or Have a Major Issue in Your Transition and Thinking About Transitioning Back. I'm one of the few girls that's on YouTube or anywhere you'll find on this planet who have these experiences. I, I, have, I have stories that the other ones, they, all they can do is make them up. Mine are real. <laughs> you know, like the person that says, I've been to Mars. I've been to Mars. Everyone else has told you that. They're lying. I'm not. So, you know, it's my second transition. It has gone way better. Um, we are going to talk about, I think, um, and I'm going to take a note on this, what's different this time and how you make it the best. If you step out in a red cocktail dress with uh, obviously, I'm just making this up. Doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be reality. Please don't write me and tell me this is a bad outfit or I don't care. It's irrelevant. You know, a red cocktail dress with it with a neckline like this or something like that. You know, scoop neckline and black slingback heels. You know, for those of you who don't know what slingbacks, just look it up. Um, they have a strap in the back. They're not closed. If you're a biological female. You're going to get attention. You're going to get a lot of attention. The red dress, the high heels, it, it all adds up. Just uh, taking a note. Don't assume that what they're thinking is evil or they're trying to figure out between which of your ribs they want to put the knife, the proverbial knife of some kind of sarcastic comment that they're getting ready to make. You don't know that. Don't ever pretend that you have a, a, one of those pointed hats with a little moon on it, you know, like a wizard or something or a witch where you can read people's minds or, or any of that garbage. No, but you're, you can't read people's minds. You don't know what they're thinking. If you're wearing an outfit like that, you're going to get attention, and that's what I would call neutral attention. It's just the way it is. It's is. You'll get it from women, you'll get it from men. Women are going to look at you when you're wearing that outfit, and they're going to think, wow, she looks really put together. Or they're going to say, what was she thinking when she did her makeup like that? Or uh, did it take her 30 seconds or 3 minutes to put her do her hair? Why didn't she spend any time on her hair? Uh, 
you know, those are the ugliest shoes I've ever seen. Now, what does this all mean? These are the things they're liable to be thinking about. If you're, if you look decent, I think I look decent. I, you know, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I, f I feel reasonably certain all the, the people would be thinking that instead of like, you know, who's the monster in the heels? That's neutral attention. You, you know, you wear a dress like that, you're going to get attention. Guy is watching you wearing that outfit. He's thinking, you know, I want to do her, man. She's hot, you know. Why doesn't my wife look like that, you know. Something. Something along those lines. But it's along those lines. I'm talking slow because I want you to absorb this. So, on the other hand, if you F up the outfit and you look like an escapee from Barnum Bailey Circus and you've been doing uh, crystal meth for three days straight and, you know, you believe you can fly off the building uh, and subsequently you are getting dressed while the lights are off in your bedroom and you step foot out um, looking that way. Uh, Y'all have a picture of like how this is going right at about the moment and uh, somehow or other um, you were attacked by uh, you know all the different color eyeshadows you have in your makeup kit or whatever and you, you I don't know like like a kid was crayoning on your face okay if you walk out Looking like this, outfit, makeup, hair, something really effed up, that's negative attention. It still doesn't have anything to do with your transition or you being, but if you look rough, they're gonna, they're go, you're gonna raise the probability of, of being uncovered, discovered, called out, spooked out, blah, 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 whatever, you know, whatever phrase you want to use to describe, oh, look, that's a guy. They're not going to say that's a trans a, tra a transgender woman. You're not going to hear that. That's a man. Look, honey, that's a guy in a dress. I think that's a man. You know? Don't put yourself in a situation like that. But whatever kind of attention you get, just be prepared for it. Somebody says something to you like, that's a really pretty red dress. Where did you get it? Oh, I got it. I got it at... at um, I got it at Barney's in Manhattan. Uh, you know, it's it's Celine or it's from Macy's. It's off the rack or, or whatever you're gonna say. Uh, don't give people weird looks. Just answer their question, um, and and just smile pretty and say thank you for saying something. Have a great night. That's, or a great day, that's, that's it, you know, um, I, I don't know how else to say this, I, and I do take my time in my videos, I realize I talk slow, and I repeat myself, there, there are, um, I'm just finishing up a note, <laughs> uh, while I'm taking a minute, you, you can think about what I was saying. Silence is sometimes a good thing. For those of you who are just starting a transition, and for me, I'm starting it again <laughs> for the second time. I'm doing really well at it, I think. I, and when you are doing well at it, you should acknowledge that. Don't sort of, you know, just sort of beat around the bush and stuff. You know, like when you get a job interview, that's the time to toot your horn. Well, at this stage, you need to be saying nice things about yourself. Don't always be thinking, I look like, and I'm shaking the camera as I do, right? Hard as a rock, you know, like, like a brick. Can you hear me knocking? Okay, I'm knocking on the laptop. What it means is I, I'm as hard as that freaking door, you know, that I just walked through. You can't always have that negative anything. It is gonna, it's gonna be your undoing. Don't do that. And for whatever you do, 
uh, as a side note, okay, and this has to do with attention. People are going to comment. They're going to comment maybe about, you know, this. Or they're going to comment about, you know, your face. My look, my face looks way different than it, than years ago. Even after I, I was on, I, I didn't get very much out of the first time around because I was on the wrong hormones. Like they were. Premarin for me was. I might as well have been eating M&Ms. You know, I took the purple ones. I think they're five milligrams. The yellows are two and a half. Yeah, I know all the colors. I know all that stuff. I used to take 17 beta estradiol valerate, which is injectable um, suspension. Uh, it, you know, you shoot it in your butt. And I wasn't doing enough in terms of number of times a month or, or the amount or the dose of drain that crap I effed it up. So I didn't get anything out of it, hardly. Uh, this time, it's way different. Uh, and it's reflecting in, my, in the attention I get. I would also say one more thing to you, and this is just a side note. I actually said this to somebody who sees me regularly, and I said to her, I said, if by chance I seem like I become full of myself or I say something that sounds like like I'm bragging or something like that, you know, stop me and, and don't let me get away with it. You know, you can, you can, and I may, you know, you can inch towards some bad habits. I, I can see myself like, you know, you can go off in a direction you shouldn't go in. And I'm not saying I am going off in, in, in bad directions with being conceited or anything like that, I'm not. I, I you know, I, there are like 40 things about me that need work. Um, but uh, you know, it's not what what needs work. It's where 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 am I versus where where was I? And celebrating those moments. And uh, most of my comments are about celebrating those moments. For those of you who are having self-esteem issues. This is not to be taken lightly. When you make, when you have a milestone change in your life, you need to acknowledge that. Uh, I am, you know, I'm meeting friends and I'm meeting relatives, as you see, you know. Um, and if they have an issue, I just address it as it comes. I am getting attention that I did not get before. And, uh, you know, say la vie, live and let live. You know, they'll get over it eventually. Just don't, don't shove anything down their proverbial throats. Uh, to say it another way, humans don't like change. How many people do you know that have lived in one place for 40 years and they don't want to move? Their house is a, is a load of crap. It's got more termites in it than, you know, uh, Augusta Wind will knock it over. It's, it's a real piece of shit. But they still live there because they don't want change. That's one example. There's, there's a million others. Doesn't matter. But this is uh, enormous. Uh, and I take my time in these videos. This video is over effectively, but I, you know, just to put a fine point on it, the videos go slow. I often repeat myself and take my time because I think some people need the repetition to hear it and to really have it sink in. You are a lot better than you think you are. The fact that you are moving forward, uh, is a good thing. If you're not moving forward yet and you don't have a reason for why you're still sitting on the couch doing nothing about who and what you are, then you need to you need to do something about that. Your life is not the life of everyone else. It is strictly yours. You have to function as a self-contained unit. This, you don't share a brain with anyone else. No one has to deal with 
your emotional strife. No one's going to understand. Explaining this to people in my life has been challenging. But like I said, you come up with that 30 second infomercial which may start off with something like, you know, my body does not match the gender which I feel in my head, you know, that I am in my head, you know. Uh, and something like that, I don't know. You know, but, but look how fast I said that, you know. That is what you need to do. You need something really quick to be able to explain to people and then a longer version of it, I think. And don't get defensive when they ask, you know. I've had people who know me, like casually, like someone in a beauty supply store who I run into, she's super cute, you know. But she's short, she has short legs, she has to wear a ton of makeup, she's almost flat like a tea cart, you know, no boobs. She's a biological female. I have bigger boobs than her. I don't wear any foundation. You know, it goes on. Now, what's this about? It's about, I got that attention from her and I was okay with it. I dealt with it. I said, you know, I just, I didn't make her feel bad. You know, I could see she's got the foundation piled on thick and heavy it, and I'm not going to say anything to her and just, you know, be kind. Even if someone throws you, if someone says you while you're wearing that red dress, you know, ooh, where did you get that? You know, I, I think I used to use that as a cleaning rag, you know, some, some stupid ass comment. Just say, you know, whatever. Just say, I'm sorry you feel that way. It is what it is. If you don't like it, I'm sorry, you know. You'll be answering people more like that than you realize as a woman and not uh, going nuts. On the other hand, if somebody's in my face and I think they're a physical threat, then, you know, I'll, I'll choose to do something else, but not for stuff like that. So deal with attention uh, as a woman, like a woman. In other words, while you are, this is your new reality. So deal with it as a female would deal with it. Have a long fuse for people who say stuff to you you may not like. Oh, God, what happened to your face? Why is your makeup like that? Ugh, too much mascara. Really? What should I do differently next time? Take some advice. You don't know what people are going to say to you. You can learn. So never, never close your ears, okay? All right, bye. I put my hair back. I don't know if you guys like it like that. I guess I look more like a guy, I don't know. I kind of was sick of it in my face, even though I know it makes me look a little bit, um, you know, so. Tough, right? Just tough. Okay, bye. Don't hesitate to write. Always want to hear your, um, your comments. If you have something really nasty to say, just keep it to yourself because I will delete your comments and I will have you barred and you won't be able to watch the videos. So everyone's welcome. These videos are for a certain segment of the population. You know who you are. But um, anyone can watch. Just be nice, okay? All right, bye. And by the way, I haven't had huge problems, but that will be my reaction. So...